What's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. And, and today I've got my hands on another brand new Android TV box. This is the amazing M96X V box and it's running the latest Android 7.1 Nogart. So as usual, we'll begin with a quick unboxing, followed by a series of tests testing 4K videos, HD streaming, gaming, and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the S905X quad-core running at 2 GHz. The GPU is the Mali 450. You've got 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. You've got Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz BGN, Bluetooth version 4, Android version 7.1 Nogart, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second, supports 5.1 surround sound. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with the user manual, HDMI, the power adapter, the remote control. So you can also control your television with this remote and the instructions on the back. Last but not least, it's the M96 TV box. Look at that. Let's take all this film off. Wow. That is quite amazing. So you've got a very nice colourful design on a black shiny matte finish. You've got this LED here so you know that's going to light up too. So if we have a quick look at the ports. On the back you have the power socket, HDMI, two USB ports, a LAN port, optical out. You've got an external Wi-Fi antenna which can fold. Uh, if we keep going you've got a full size SD card slot here as well. And, and this is how the bottom of the unit looks. This appears to be quite a nice and small device. So to compare the size, I'm going to bring in my H96 Max. You can see the H96 Max is actually smaller in width. The M96X is actually smaller in height as well. So now I'm going to connect this up to my TV and run all the tests. And we're going to find out how well this TV box performs. I'll be right back. So here is the home screen for the M96X. You have a nice and easy layout, the large icons are fixed and cannot be changed. However, the small icons at the bottom row can be edited by pressing the plus sign and choosing your favourite apps and they will instantly appear. So if we have a quick look at system storage, this box has 16GB internal storage and there is 11 gigs available to use. If we go to about, you will see that this is running Android 7.1.1 Nogart. Now let's have a quick look at the app drawer. These are all the apps installed on the system. I have not installed anything yet. These are your standard apps. You've got Super User, which means this box comes rooted. Um, you've got Showbox, Netflix, uh, Miracast, Kodi. You've got all of these applications here to get you started. You've also got Miracast. So that's the next thing I like to test. I'm going to open up Miracast and I'm going to try and connect to my Samsung phone. And we're going to see if this works. So I have to accept the request. Any second now, you should see my Samsung phone mirrored onto this TV box. And there you go. So as you can see we are screen mirroring directly to this TV box and it works great. There is no lag whatsoever. We've got full speed screen mirroring. So let's come out of this now. So let's open up Kodi and find out what version this comes with. So this box comes with the latest Kodi 17.3 Krypton. So now we're going to be testing out some 4K video samples from a USB drive. So let's go ahead and play the first video. So we just played some 4K and HD video samples, let's move on now to the YouTube test. 
So maximum YouTube resolution supported is 1080p. Trouble, Thomas. I'm having a bad day. What's her name? Well, I'm crazy about you. I'm crazy about you, but... But don't say as friends. Why? Once Why? every year, our ancestors come back to our world. Please have a safe journey. To see family <laughs> and friends. So let's move on now to the gaming test. So this is the game controller I use for all my Android TV games. This is the G600 controller. I'll put the links in the description box below so you can check it out. Let's continue with the game tests. Moving on now to the speed tests and the benchmarks. In the Wi-Fi speed test, this box got download speeds of 14.61 and upload speeds of 9.83 megabits per second. And I was using a shared hotel Wi-Fi for these tests. And in the Antutu benchmark test, this box achieved 29,345. So let's see how that compares to the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart. This chart simply shows you which are the highest overall performing boxes. However, when choosing a TV box, you must also consider other factors such as the home screen, Android version, size, appearance, and of course, the price. So as you can see, the M96X has achieved position 12 under the quad-core TV box chart. It'll be interesting to see which TV box I review next and what overall performance it will get. Please be aware the prices shown are just a guideline as they are constantly changing on a daily basis. So there you have it guys, that was the M96X Android TV box. The build quality is great and I love the colours and the unique design. The external Wi-Fi antenna gave a solid connection, however, you only have single band Wi-Fi, so that's a shame. You have a very nice looking home screen which was easy to use. The remote control that came with the box was great, responsive and worked exactly as expected. However, I would highly recommend you to pick up one of these wireless mini keyboards for a better experience. Playing games, you will immediately see frame drops and lags. Generally, gaming was not good. Bottom line is, this TV box is only good as a media player and online streamer. It handles 4K and Full HD with no issues. However, it's no good for gaming and you only have single band Wi-Fi. With that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day.